Good boy. Good boy. Look. It's okay. You went too many cars. I ate too many boats. Yay, good boy! Good boy, almost! Stay. Good boy! Come on, Duncan. Stay. Yes! 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 Good boy! Good boy, Good boy! And remember, less is more. Always end the game when the dog wants to continue. Oh, good sit. You can work. I want you to stay sitting. I want to go off the dock. Good boy. Oh, look at that swim now. Wow. Good boy. Boy. Yay, Duncan. You want to get started to have the perfect puppy? Now's the time. 8 to 16 weeks, the most critical time period in your puppy's life and in their learning development, and nobody teaches that program. That's why I've created the ultimate guide to puppy parenting for preschool. Click on the link below, get on the waiting list, and we'll see you on the other side. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, good. Nice. Shake. Good sit. That's it. It's a good boy. You want to go again? Don't you? Duncan would love to do more retrieves and you can see he was almost to the end of the dock and our goal is to have that bumper beyond the end of the dock. Today's a perfect day, no boat traffic, no wind and he wants to keep going and going but we want him to keep going and going. We want him to want to keep going and going. That's why we're going to quit now while we're at. He had several short retrieves probably more than I would have liked but he kept wanting to go for more and now when I say it's done He's calm, he's okay, he's still jumping to get to get going, but now we're going to let him think about that. We'll come back in a few hours and we'll do that one more time. And see how much more enthusiastic he is and then we can add more distance and more structure. Today he learned to sit while I throw and he got to go right away and pretty soon we're going to start counting and increasing the time from when the thing lands to when he gets sent. Lots of fun. So here we are, the end of week four with Duncan, the chocolate lab puppy. Can you see? Duncan is not here at the end of week four of his preschool education. Because today, Duncan moved on to his next chapter in life. As you can see in the video behind me here, Duncan is now with his new owner. And the match was like a match made in heaven. <laughs> if there were ever two personality styles that were like identical, it's those two. Duncan's a processor, his new owner is a processor. Very methodical, very systematic in how they approach things. And the testimony of a true, a, a truly comprehensive training program done by a trainer is when you can hand that puppy over and show the new owner or the existing owner the moves that are meant to be made to maintain what you've taught the puppy and everything falls into place. And that's exactly what happened with Duncan today. And it was the simple things. Walking on leash, coming when called, sitting nice, going to place, laying down when asked, waiting at the door when asked, accepting food reward from hand in with gentle mouth manners. Those are the basic premise of what people want in their puppy. What was the main difference between Duncan and, and this scenario today that you see rolling behind me with his new owner and a puppy that's been with its in its home for two or three weeks and comes in for training and then goes back? The difference is that there's baggage. Not only does the puppy have a, a memory bank with the existing owners so that they, that like an elastic band, they switch right back into that mode. So you've got to work much harder to break the habits of the owner so that you can break the the habits and change the state of mind of the puppy. With Duncan, there was none of that because they hadn't met before today. 
I, I knew the, the owner, the, the, the new owner, because we'd worked together before. And of course, Duncan, the home that he came from, all that had happened there that would be tough to change was his chaos with his, with his sibling. And that was evident in every time he met a dog that was his size or smaller, it was relentless. And that would be a lifelong process to change that state of mind for him in playing with smaller dogs. So in four weeks, he went from living on a farm with his siblings to falling in the water, learning to swim, learning to retrieve, learning to ride in a kayak, riding in a crate in a vehicle without a fuss, sleeping in, in the sleep-in drill, sleeping in till 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning with only a potty break at 11 o'clock at night, resting in the crate during the day, understanding the, the power of the fulfillment formula of work, rest, play. Work being as simple as walking, we would come out first thing in the morning for our potty break, spend two minutes doing a 369 at heel drill, then go free with your friends. We, we see so many dogs, people surrender so many lovely dogs to us. We want to keep them all because after all, we think we're the only ones that can make the dog right. And that might be true, but the magic in what we do is to make that dog right for someone else so they can have the joy of having that life of harmony with their dog or puppy. Duncan will be the only pet in a household of one person who has family and friends around him, but they need each other. He will have more joy in his life than he could ever have had here. And even more heartwarming is the joy that I know he will bring to his new owner. That's why I do what I do. I'm Karen Laws, the interior dog trainer, and I thank you for watching and listening. And we'll see you in the next video because we have a big surprise coming. Stay tuned for the next video.